Uh, Guelph brings some unique challenges. Uh, you know, their quarterback is another sort of uh, schoolyard guy. He runs around. He's sometimes at his best when the whole thing breaks down. You know, we'll run right, you'll chase him to the right, then he'll cut back and chase you to the left. He's a, a little bit of a Justin Dunk kind of guy, unpredictable. Uh, so what you do, you need to be athletic when you're getting after him, okay? So you can't be out there chasing him with guys that are, you know, uh, not capable of changing direction and getting a beat on him. Uh, they do have some playmakers too. They're, they're uh, number 17, Charette's a very good player. Uh, Dre Fraser, number one, is a very good player also. And uh, 32, Farkasson, the running back, uh, when he gets on a roll, he can be, he can be good also. So, uh, you know, they have some weapons, uh, and our team just has to be, uh, get accustomed to prepping for a team with weapons, taking away what the other team does best, forcing them to do something else. And, uh, you know, those are the challenges that uh, you know, we face this year. You know, I think when you have a, a young football team, some inexperience at certain positions, you're going to have a few explosions. And I think that's been characteristic of our teams in the, um, in the um, first three games, is that, you know, we've played well, we've played uh, extraordinary at times. Uh, uh, but there's, there has been a few explosions, which has, you know, uh, just a two or three minute lapse there where bing, bang, boom, the other team moves the football. There's no there's no real explanation for it other than our team has just lost focus and uh, you know then what happens is is you know you try and do your job you try and do everybody else's job uh, I, I think that there is a sort of a, a maturing that a unit has to make where there's an accountability that you know you know that all on your left and your right everybody's going to do their job etc and there's a certain amount of confidence that comes with that now we've had some great play out of some really young players but with young players, the issue is going to be consistency. Okay, that means that, uh, and that's where the experience factor comes in. I would say that everybody who's analyzing our defense uh, can certainly see what's coming down the road, and it's going to be a great unit, uh, you know, when it matures. Uh, so we just hope to be at a level by the end of the season where we're very competitive. Uh, you know, we could win a playoff game. Uh, job one is to get into the playoffs. Uh, job two is to win a playoff game or two and see how far we can take the thing by the end. The rest of the way, I would say that we're, we're our backs against the wall the rest of the way. There's no question we can win our way in. Um, I would say that uh, with each, uh, if there are any more losses this season, each one sort of, you know, bears with it consequences. I, I don't think that we're out if we lose this weekend, but I do feel that, you know, now you get involved in mathematical equations. And uh, uh, that's not where you want to be down the stretch, particularly if you're playing some of your best football by the end. Okay, and then you need uh, somebody to beat somebody or somebody to lose to sort of let you in. So the, the, what's set up for us from a mathematical point of view is that we can win our way in. Uh, the kids all know that. So uh, we, we need to demonstrate a certain level of improvement this week and, um, and a, just an increased level of competitiveness, particularly at times when the game's on the line.